pneumonia in this man. Jacqueline Smith was diagnosed with lymphoma three years ago. Punch you flat on your back, head on the pillow, about right there. But thanks to the science of positron emission tomography, or PET scanning, Jacqueline's physicians are looking at her disease in ways never before possible. It helps them look at the tumors and see if they're getting smaller. You know, it's the medicine working. Unlike X-ray, CT, or MRI scans that just show the shape, size, or position of organs or tissues, a PET scan will show their chemical activity. Small quantities of substances such as sugar, water, or fatty acids used by the body are made radioactive and administered into the bloodstream. Highly sensitive radiation detectors measure the location of the radioactive tracers, allowing physicians to identify normal and abnormal function. It was also realized that there were certain limitations to CAT scanning. For example, in the chest, you could find lymph nodes in the central part of the chest that were normal in size but contained tumor. Or you might find lymph nodes that were abnormal in size but did not contain tumor. The only way you can determine that is with a PET scan. Doctors can then get a clearer picture as to what treatment is in the best interest of the patient. You may determine from the PET scan that they cannot be cured by surgery. And based on that, you may decide to treat them with radiation and chemotherapy and they would be saved having an unnecessary uh, surgical procedure. And while PET scanning is primarily used to diagnose cancer, the technology has also proved to be an invaluable tool in diagnosing epilepsy, dementia, Alzheimer's disease, and heart disease. As for the future of PET scanning technology, the sky's the limit. The latest technology really is now combining CAT scanning with PET scanning all into one machine so that the anatomy and the physiology are basically presented as fused images. And we can tell not only what area shows abnormal metabolic activity or abnormal physiology, but we can show exactly where that is within a few millimeters on the CAT scan. For Smart Medicine, I'm Rod Starnes.